<laughs> what up, Canets? What up, guys? All right, so it's been a really rough week, rough week for me. Um, my grandmother-in-law just passed away a couple days ago. So I've been here just kind of catering to my wife and making sure everything is okay with the family and things like that. So sorry for not really putting out a new fishing video this week. It's been really tough. Um, I went out fishing today at my local lake and I was there for about four hours and nothing. Didn't catch anything. Fish were jumping left, fish were jumping right. I couldn't secure the bag. I couldn't pull in anything. So today was a dud as far as fishing goes, but I thought I'd give you guys something to watch. So here's a video of my new aquarium. I have a new aquarium. I know you guys may have watched the other video of me fishing in the creek for a new pet. I got a couple of them. Uh, I went for my birthday, which was on September 20th of this year. So not that long ago, about a week ago was my birthday. So I went out fishing at the creek again with just the family, wife, dad, mom, stuff like that, friends, and caught a plenty of fish, but I didn't record any of it because you know, it's just a family gathering. So I didn't feel like it was necessary. Just want to spend time with the family that day. But anyway, here's the aquarium. You guys let me know if y'all want to see more videos about the aquarium, more videos of me feeding the bass, of me feeding the bluegill, the catfish, uh, some of the behaviors I've learned and picked up on and seeing how they behave in certain areas during when it's lit up, when it's light, when it's dark, uh, when there's an abundance of food surrounding them versus when there's only two or three minnows in the t entire tank, how they behave. We can go over all that. I would really enjoy to do that. I think that'd be really cool and fun. But you guys let me know what y'all want to see. Uh, again, this is just real quick, real short. It's not going to be a long video at all. It's just kind of introducing you to the tank, letting you see the fish, how they live, how they look in the tank. About to do a water change here in just a moment. So I hope you guys like it. It's something just to hold on to for now. I'll get another video out next week once I get back on the water and we have some better luck. Enjoy. Enjoy. Let me know what you guys think and if you want to see more. 55 gallon tank by the way 55 gallon heavily planted artificially but heavily planted <laughs> if you have any questions about if, why I didn't go with actual live plants versus artificial plants I can answer that in another video if you'd like I have no problem going over why I did what I did why I chose the things I chose and why I placed them where I placed them I'd be more than happy to answer you guys' questions just let me know what you want to know See that fin stick up? He was about ready. Ooh, look at that worm that just came out the ground. Will you eat it? Will you eat it? Yes, no. What's that? Eat him. Chasing the babies, yo, that's crazy. So there's some baby minnows in here, guys. I mean, baby babies that are in here. Because if you can see some of these minnows, they look pregnant because they are. And they don't lay eggs; they lay minnows. So they just they just push out baby fish, and that's what he just ate was a baby fish. There's a channel catfish in here as well as a bluegill. Bluegill's on your left. Channel cat is on your right underneath the stone over there. And obviously the bass is up there doing his thing. There he goes in that corner again, guys. Super small. Not the bass, but the minnow. Teeny tiny minnow in that corner, if y'all can see him. He's way back here. He's so small, that little guy. You see what I'm saying? He's quick too, but bass is faster. Bass is a lot faster. See how it spins up like that? 
that's like a defense slash attack. Mode. Guys, check this out. So I'm gonna show you just real briefly of kind of how fish behave more or less like so think of this when you're out there on the water you know how they say when you're fishing for bass the best time to bass fish with a topwater frog or topwater lure is typically going to be at night or as the sun is going down or just as the sun has came up now i understand that's a rule but i never fully understood why that's a rule like it's not a rule you can fish however the heck you want to fish but it's a guideline you may want to follow and the reason why I'm starting to understand these things is by just watching the behavior of my fish here in the aquarium and also in the pond in the backyard. Whenever it's bright like this, look at the minnows. Look at how they are. They, they swim around, they scatter. I mean, they, they chill. Y'all seen it earlier, they chill. The bass, he's chilling, he's vibing. He's still looking for food, of course. He's hunting, no matter what time of day it is, quite frankly. But with the minnows, per se, right? So if you're using a topwater frog at night or as the sun's going down, it pairs up with the way other fish, bait fish behave. They swim on the surface, they gather in schools, and they stay on the top of the water column as it gets darker, as the sun's going down or if it's nighttime. Prime example, I'm gonna switch these lights to a blue light. It's gonna be hard to see. For some reason, the camera doesn't do well with a blue light, but that's the blue light, okay? I know it's really hard to see, but all the minnows are over here. They start swimming up higher to the water column. I know it's harder to tell, but they swim a lot higher to the water column, almost on the, on the top, top water surface, right? I'm gonna turn the light off completely. Now it's pitch black, right? Look at these guys. They all school up and they all go to the top. And look at the chaos. When it gets dark, they get frantic and they stay on top. They school up and they stay to the top of the water column. And so logically, when you're fishing with top water frogs and stuff like that, when the sun's going down, when it's dark, things of that sort, it's because they school to the top of the water column, is what I've learned. Now that the light is on, they kind of spread out more. They kind of just do their thing. It's a cool little concept I just picked up on. So, as you see, lights on, they're more spread out evenly. They're just in every level of the water. They're on the bottom, they're on the top, they're in the middle. But like I mentioned, at night, sun's going down, you're trying to fish on the top of the water surface with a frog, with a pad crasher frog, or anything like that, or a uh, popper, whatever. Frogs, yes, but also minnows. They all are on the top at night, and as the sun goes down, as the sun is barely coming up when you're typically top water fishing. That's just how fish behave, bait fish. They, they go to the top, they go to the surface, and they school up. So usually, if you catch a, a frog, a fish on a topwater frog at that time of day, usually you can catch another bass in that area too because bass go where the bait is at. Bass rarely hang out in schools, rarely. But where there's bait, there's bass. So if you catch a bass on a topwater frog, there's most likely other bait in that area because like you saw, they tend to school up and stick together so they can't be picked off individually, which means there's bass just sitting there off the drop off, just waiting or just waiting for them to come across the top of their head and then they blow up on the surface and we see that all the time it happens. And that's how it happens in my estimation from what I'm just observing here. So anyway, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Like I said, it's going to be super short, super brief, no more than 10 minutes tops. Just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I have going on with my aquarium at home. And if y'all want to see more, let me know and we can give you more. But for now, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Bless up. Peace.